Good morning, everyone. Uh, it's hard to believe it's the end of February already. <laughs> uh, so uh, we're going to go through uh, our warm-ups, and you can either do the warm-up sitting in your chair or standing. Uh, and then we'll, we'll go through the, uh, the eight movements, and uh, we'll do the movement sitting in the chair, since this is the last session of this month. Uh, we'll do the movement sitting in a chair and then standing and then we'll do the footwork along with. Uh, and for those of you who are here for the first time, like Doug, uh, don't worry. Uh, come back next month. <laughs> We're going to re repeat this whole uh, uh, four weeks. So so let's let's warm up a little bit. Uh, just relax. I'll stand up, I think, this time. <clears throat> okay, just have your arm at your side, your feet shoulder width apart. And just raise your arms up a little bit. Push down and back. Look at yourself sitting in a hot tub, you're up to your neck in the water. And raise the arms all the way up. And slowly push down the back. We're going to form a ball on the right side with the right hand on top. And we're holding a basketball or a beach ball. And we're just going to move the ball over to your other. Slightly rotating the ball. Trying to keep the ball the same size. Back to the other side. And then slightly rotate the ball again. And we're going to turn just a little bit more. Rotate the ball. This time, turn at the waist 180 degrees. You can bring the ball to the center, then just push the ball forward and back. And shift your weight as you join this. Shift the weight forward. Way back. Now we're going to expand the ball and we're going to split our wings. At the very end, stretch your fingers and relax them. Bring the ball back to the center. And we'll do this a couple more times. Stretch the fingers and relax them. We're going to go vertically with the ball. Rotate the ball to the other side. to the diagonal for parting the wild horse's mane. To the other side and shift your weight to standing. You can also shift your weight if you're sitting in the chair. Now 
one more time on this side. Put your arms relaxed on your side. We're going to make some big inward circles. And just remember to breathe while we're doing these exercises. A lot of people have a tendency to want to hold. Make sure we're breathing. We're going to make some big outward circles. Okay. And just let your arms come to your side. Bend your knees slightly. And again, have your feet shoulder width apart, uh, both uh, feet pointing straight ahead. Okay. So uh, we're going to go through the movements uh, standing right now. Uh, no footwork. And then we'll sit down in the chair and do the, uh, the movements. And then Last but not least, we'll throw in the footwork. Okay, so just uh, again, just think of yourself sitting in the hot tub, you're up to your neck in the water. You know, open the door. Just let the arms float up to shoulder height. And the hands back at shoulder height. Slowly push down the water. Push down and back. The form on the right side, about the size of a beach ball or a basketball. And we're just going to move the ball, rotating the ball from one side to the other. Back to the other side. the wild horse's mane. It's just like we're reaching for the peanut butter jar in the back of the cabinet. Notice after each movement, we come back to the ball. Now we're going to do the single whip. Let's see if you can have each finger slowly touch your thumb. In the meantime, the left hand's going to come across over to your left shoulder. And then turn the palm outward and push. Come back to the ball. We got the ball on the left side, left hand on top, right hand on the bottom. You're going to over to the other side. And the right hand comes over to your right shoulder, turn the palm outward, and push. And come back to the ball, ready to do cloud hands. So imagine yourself taking three steps to your left. On the first step, you look at your palm as it comes across, and follow it. The second step, look over your palm. Stand the room. Turning at the waist. On the third step, perform the ball over on the left side with the left hand on top. And now we're going to take three steps to the right. As we do that, follow your palm as it comes across. Second step, look over your palm, scan the room 180 degrees, turning at the waist. You're on this 
movement, we're looking for the monkeys. That's a hint for the next movement. So everyone come back to the ball on the right with the right hand on top. We're gonna repulse the monkey. Push with the right hand. Turn both palms upward towards the ceiling. And turn and look at your left palm. Back to the ball on the left, left hand on top. The same push with the hand. Right arm is going to swing across. Turn both palms upward towards the ceiling and turn and look at your right palm. Back to the ball on the right, right hand on top. Now we're ready for the brush knee and push. So turn the left palm down. Cross the left knee, push with the right hand. Back to the ball, left hand on top, turn the right palm down, brush across our right knee, and push with the left hand. <clears throat> and back to the ball, ball on the right, right hand on top. Time for Fair Lady, works the shuttle. Rotate the ball over to the other side. Turn both palms outward. And push. Back to the ball. Rotate the ball over to the other side. Turn both palms outward. And push. Back to the ball. And now it's time for the ward off and grasp. Peacock's tail. Hold down on the peacock's tail. Follow your right arm up. So the right hand comes down and meets the inside of the left wrist. Turn and push. Separate the hands and walk back. And push upward from the waist to the shoulder. Back to the ball on the left, left hand on top. I'm gonna to do the ward off over to the right side. Grasp the peacock's tail, pull down. <clears throat> this time we're gonna follow the left arm up. And the left hand comes down and meets the inside of the right wrist. And a push. Separate the hands and rock back and push upward from the waist to the shoulders. Back to the ball. Now we're going to close the door. So just move the ball to the center. Cross the hand and separate. Push straight ahead. Straighten the fingers and the wrists. Bring the hands back at shoulder height and slowly push down and back as if we're pushing through the water. Okay, so we've gone through the movements <coughs> standing, so let's do it sitting down. Uh, and the reason we, we learn uh, three different ways of doing this, either sitting in the chair, uh, just standing, uh, and then uh, doing the foot along with the movements. Uh, in, in case you're up on the slope someday and you, you run into a tree and you break your leg, we hope that doesn't happen, but just in case, you can always do Chai Chi sitting in a chair. Okay, so there's no excuse. <laughs> Okay, so so let's go again. Uh, and let me let me just go through the movements again. <clears throat> uh, so we're going to open the door. We're going to move the ball. Part the wild horse's mane. The single whip. Cloud hands. Repulse the monkey. Brush knee and push. Fair lady works the shuttle and the ward off and grasp the peacock's tail, and then we close the door. OK, 
Okay. Uh, so uh, for the new people, I, I know there's a lot to uh, uh, a lot to uh, comprehend uh, in this this uh, one half. Hour. Uh, but don't worry, uh, the more often we do this, uh, it'll all come together. Okay, so uh, let's go through the movement sitting in the chair. Just this. Okay, so just relax. Have your arms at your side. And we're going to open the door. Remember, you're sitting in that hot tub and you're up to your neck in the water. So the arms are just going to float up to shoulder height. Hands back at shoulder height. And we're going to push down and back as if we're pushing through the water. Okay. We're going to form a ball on the right side, right hand on top. Okay, and we're just going to move the ball, rotating the ball from one side to the other. And then back to the other side. Just the screen, just a little bit more. <clears throat> uh, so now we're ready to part the wild horse's mane. So we open the door, we move the ball. Now we're ready to part the wild horse's mane. And this is the we're reaching for that peanut butter in the back of the cabinet. Okay, come back to the ball. Ball on the left, left hand on top. And we'll part the wild horse's mane over on the right side. Back to the ball. Time. And again, see if you can have each finger slowly touch the thumb. The left hand's going to come across over to your left shoulder. Palm outward and push. And come back to the ball on the left side. Move over just a little bit. So we're going to do the single whip over on the right side this time. And again, even though we're sitting in the chair, we can slide our weight from side to side as we do these movements. So now we're ready to do uh, the cloud hand. So imagine yourself taking three steps to the left. And we're going to do this with the footwork. Uh, so we're finished here. So on that first step, in the clouds of the hand, just follow your palm as it comes across. Turn the waist. On that second step, look over your palm. Turn the waist 180 degrees. On the third step, palm one more time, and then the ball on the left, left hand on top. And we're going to take three steps to the right. That first step, we're just going to follow the palm. And turn at the waist. <clears throat> Look over the palm. Scan the room 180 degrees. reason we're doing this, looking for the monkeys. Now it's time to repulse the monkey. So we're going to push the right hand, left arm to a Turn both palms upward towards the ceiling, and turn and look at your left palm. Back to the ball. Push with the left hand this time. Turn the palms upward towards the ceiling and turn and look at your right palm. Back to the palm. Right hand on top. Time for the brush knee and push. So we're going to turn the left palm down, brush across the left knee, and push with the right hand. Back to the ball again, left hand on top. Turn the right palm down, brush across the right knee, push with the left hand. <clears throat> Come back to the ball. 
time for Fair Lady Works to settle. So we're just going to rotate the ball over to the other side, turn both palms outward, and do the push. Come back to the ball on the left, left hand on top, and rotate the ball, turn both palms outward, and push. Back to the ball on the right, right hand on top. Time for the ward off and grasp the peacock's tail. So with the left hand, we're going to do what's called the ward off. Grasp the peacock's tail and pull down. Follow the right arm up till the right hand comes down and meets the inside of the left wrist. Turn, we're going to push, separate the hands and rock. And push upward from the waist to the shoulders. And the reason we're pushing upwards from the waist to the shoulders, we're pushing our opponent away. So remember that Tai Chi comes out of the martial arts. Uh, so there, 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 there's, a, there's a method to this, to this madness. Okay, so we're going to do the ward off over on the right side. Grasp the peacock's tail, pull down, follow your left arm up until the left hand comes down and meets the inside of the right wrist. We're going to turn, do the push. Separate the hands and rock back. And push upward from the waist to the shoulders. Back to the ball, right, right hand on top. Time to close the door. We're just gonna move the ball to the center. Cross the hands and separate them. <clears throat> push straight ahead. Straighten the fingers and the wrists and bring the hands back at shoulder height. Slowly push down and back as you walk. Just let your arms come to your side. Okay, so uh, let me have time to do uh, the, all the movements with the footwork. Uh, just to review, uh, there's only one of the movements where we step backwards, and that's repulse the monkey. There's five movements where we step forward. And there's two movements where we uh, repulse, uh, uh, move the ball and uh, cloud hands. The other five movements are, we're walking straight ahead. Let's, let's do it together. <clears throat> Touch the screen again. There we go. Okay, so relax. Have your feet shoulder width apart. Hands at your side. We're going to step in with the left foot. And shift the weight. Bend the knees slightly. Step to the side with the left foot. <clears throat> so both feet are pointing straight ahead. Both toes. <laughs> okay, so we're going to open the door. Slowly raising the arms up. Bring the hands back at shoulder height. And slowly push down and back. As we fall, step in with your left foot. Step to the side with your left foot. We're going to move the ball, rotating the ball. Bring the right foot. Step to the right, side stepping, and rotate the ball back. So, with the left foot, step to the diagonal, 45 degree angle. Part the wild horse's mane. Rock back and pivot on your left heel. So your left foot is going straight ahead. 
Okay? We're going to do the other side. Step to the right diagonal at 45 degrees. Part the wild horse's mane. Rock back and pivot. So I think as you can see on the screen, I, I'm actually moving forward. I'm going to step back a little bit. So we've, we've got other forward stepping movements. So, so we just part of the game. We ended up with the ball on the right. We're going to do the, do the single whip. Step to the left diagonal at 45 degree angle. Push. Rock back and pivot. Step to the right diagonal at 45 degree angle. Shift the weight forward. Shift the pivot on your right heel. <clears throat> okay, so now we're ready. Uh, we're ready for uh, cloud hands. So I'm going to take three steps to the left. Okay, on the first step, I'm just going to follow my palm as it comes across. And the other foot. Here's the second step. Look over your palm and turning at the waist 180 degrees. On the third step, look at your palm again and form the ball. Bring in the right foot. We're going to take three steps to the, to the right. Step, follow your palm, bring in the left foot. Step, look over your palm and turn at the waist. 180 degrees. We're looking for the monkeys on this one. Third step. We're going to form the ball. Ball's on the right, right hand on top. Time to repulse the monkey. Step back with the left foot. Push straight ahead with the right hand. Turn both palms upward towards the ceiling and lift your right toes. Turn and look at your left palm. A lot of little things going on in this move. Bring the right foot back to your left foot. <clears throat> okay, got the ball on the left now. Left hand on top. You're gonna step back with the right foot, push in the direction of your left foot, which is at a 45 degree angle. Turn both palms upward, turn and look at your right palm and lift the left toes. Step back with the left foot. Okay. So we did uh, for the brush knee and push. So we're going to turn the left palm down, step to that 45 degree angle, brush, push, and now we're going to lift the right foot if we can without falling over. Okay. If you need to, you can hold on to the chair. So we have to do the brush and the push. If you need to use the chair to lift your foot, use my foot. That's fine. That's why we have the chair here. Okay. If you can do it without the chair, your balance is, is pretty good. Okay, so so we do the brush thing and push. Left side. Brush me and push over on your right side. And lift to the left foot. Okay. Right Pivot. Time for your lady works the shuttle. So you're going to step to the diagonal, rotate the ball, turn the ball. Push. Back. Pivot. Step to the right diagonal, rotate the ball. There's Fair Lady Works the Shuttle. Okay, move back just a little bit more. Okay, time for the ward off and grass the peacock's tail. Ward off, grass the peacock's tail. Now, <clears throat> the right arm up. Okay, well, it's inside of the left wrist. 
turn, and as we shift the weight forward, push the direction of your left foot. Rock back. And let's do the other side. Step to the right diagonal. You can turn off. Rest the two half scale, hold it down. And follow the left arm up and come down against the inside of the right wrist. Turn and shift the way forward as you push in the direction of your right foot. <clears throat> Separate the hands and rock back. And push upward from the waist to the shoulders. Rock back and pivot. Step up. We're going to close the door. So step to the side. We're just going to move the ball to the center. Cross the hands and separate them. Push straight ahead. Switch from the fingers and the wrists and bring the hands back at shoulder height. Slowly push down and back. And let your hands come down to your side. <laughs> all throughout all those movements, we had our knee steps. Close the door. We grow about an inch or so at the very end. So how are we doing on time? 10.31. <clears throat> we will continue this next month <laughs> next next friday all right so let's do our tai chi salute uh the fist stands for power or strength the fingers are friendship and the little is humility just place the the fist in the palm of the left hand extend the fingers cover up the little hole in the fist with humility and to show respect for each other, we bow to each other and we say, Pang Yomen Zai Jin, Pang Yomen Zai Jin, and Pang Yomen Zai Jin, which means goodbye, friends. <laughs>